What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Uh, so <laughs> two days in a row, what is going on? Uh, so today we're going to keep continue our coverage of Top 8 uh, NIIC uh, North America International Championship that happened this past weekend. Uh, also, Pokemon has posted the Top 8 list. I'm actually not going to share that because if you don't know what made Top 8, and if you don't know a one... First of all, I don't know where you were at. I guess you missed it. I guess you didn't, I didn't have a video talking about it, so that's my fault. Um, but I think I fixed the mic. I think it sounds better, maybe. Fingers crossed, it sounds better. Nobody complained about the last video, but I think it still was too loud. Um, but today, we're covering the top eight Malamar Dag Paraba Edward uh, from Canada. I didn't say whose last um, other top eight was. I think he was just American, if I remember correctly. It was Ryan Yates from the United States. So we have Edward today from Canada playing his Malamar deck. Now, this is a very interesting Malamar list, and I know we showed it before. And the other Malamar actually involved, like, the this, this Steel-type guy. I can't remember his name. It was an Acrosma as, as well. I can't look. There's so many different Acrosmas. It was... Maybe it wasn't Acrosma. Yeah, yes, Ultra Cosmos. Ultra Cosmos is what we, we talked about last time, and it kind of played a little bit of psychic. But now this one is totally off psychic. Um, just going to focus on psychic, take down these Buzzwell decks, which is definitely the big deck going into here. And I'll see what Edward kind of play. Now, there's a lot of different things going here. There's a Rangor with the Struck. Uh, Struck's going to let you draw until you have three cards in your hand. Or you get psychic, 60 plus 20 damage, times my energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It could be a, like a Hoopa attacker. He's got this Mars Shadow GX with a Shadow Hunt ability, uh, which can use any of your basic Pokemon's uh, attacks in the discard pile. Uh, and that way you kind of punch a Zark in the face. Zark, it can one-shot you if they have a full bench plus a Choice Band. It is a very... Like li it's a kind of like a liability kind of thing. Uh, Mars Shadow could Shadow Hunt copy an attack and take a one shot that way. Uh, he did play two Dawn Wings Necrozma, uh, which you know is really good for the Buzzwall. It has Dark Flash 120 times two, it's 240, and it does have that Moon Eclipse GX 180. Uh, you can use as attack only if you have more prize cards than your opponent. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. So you could Moon Eclipse GX and make it where your Necrozma is and like. It can't get hurt, and maybe switch a different attacker, and then take your last two prize cards with my shadow. It is very possible to beat Zark with this deck. It's just not, uh, it's not one, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not the best though. Uh, one Giratina, it's got that Devour Light Shutdown Break, so you can shut down Grenade to Break. They can't use abilities, they can't, uh, Giant Water Shuriken. But also, you can Shadow Claw for 100 damage, another good non EX attacker. And there's a 4 for Malamar. Malamar's good, it's got that Psychic Recharge, so you should have Psychic Energies. Bromid is compiled to your bench Pokemon. I'm talking kind of fast. I need to slow down, guys. All right. Uh, Lanala. I uh, guess we're getting back more introduced with Lanala. Lanala. Uh, full Moon Star for each of your opponent's Pokemon to play. Attach a Psychic Energy from your Scarpal to your Pokemon any way you like. I think he really kind of uses this for Psy Storm, though. Uh, this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon. Uh, so that is both yours and your opponent's side of the field. So there's a bunch of energy. Sidestorm could uh, sneak a knock out of it anyway, which is pretty cool. And uh, probably one of the good attackers against Evatol, I mean, Evatol against Zark, is Mewtwo GX. So he's got the side strike, does 200. Uh, it's not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It's got super, super absorption of 60, heal 30. And then full burst is to attack the third damage times amount of energy attached to his Pokemon. So, and he's also not weak to dark, so it's a really good attacker there. Uh, there's some other good attackers, but don't worry. We got a lot of different attackers here. It's definitely, like, it's all psychic, but it's definitely uh, a toolboxy deck. You can see a bunch of one ofs in here. Uh, there's a Mimikyu with a copycat. To your opponent's Pokemon to use an attack that isn't a GX. You get a copy of it. So Mimikyu copying an attack. Another good non GX EX attacker. And you got the one Necrozma GX. Is this right? Only one Necrozma GX? Yeah, that's all right. Only one Necrozma GX. It does have that prismatic burst. Uh, 10 and discard all psychic energy from this Pokemon. Uh, this type does 60 more damage for each card you discard it this way. Uh, so if you discard three, you do 190, which is pretty nice because you need three to do that. But if you discard four, uh, you're taking a knockout. Pretty much everybody. You got that Black Ray GX. It's 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, or each of your opponent's GX and EX. Um, and also, one thing about Necrozma I didn't talk about, he has a, that evasion ability, so you can switch it with the active, retreat, do all that kind of shenanigans if you want to, which is pretty nice, and one Tapu Lele. Alright, so there's 18 near Pokemon here, oh my goodness, 
Uh, there's one Rengaru, one Marshadow, one Giratina, one Lunala, one Mewtwo, one Mickey, one Necrozma, one Lele. Hit two, Donwing's Necrozma. Now, this deck is going to be very scary to play on PTCGO right now. Just because I imagine Zora Garbodor is going to be everywhere, but we're going to try it today and see what happens. Uh, two field board to get rid of those tools. We just talked about Garbodor. Three, Max Luxor. Now, you might be asking, why are you playing Max Luxor when you got the Malamar? Well, so you can attack turn one. Uh, if you can attach Max Luxor turn one, the next turn attach again, you can start using that Dark Flash ASAP, which is pretty nice. Or anybody, like Prismatic Burst, you want to. You could Psych Strike GX. Uh, it's just really good to get an attacker off turn one. Uh, four Mysterious Treasure, really good card coming out of the new set. Uh, discard a card from your hand if you do. So check for a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon. And one stretch, of course, get back your Pokemon. But four Ultra Ball to search for Pokemon. So not only does he have four Mysterious Treasure, he also has four Ultra Ball. And he's going to make sure he gets that turn one. Like, I'm getting, like, triple uh, uh, in Malamar, in K out. And we're going to get these Malamars online ASAP. Uh, but four Cynthia, four Guzma, one Lily, and one and four Sycamore. Now, the interesting thing to note is there is no in. I don't know if this is a mistake. I imagine it's not a mistake. I imagine Pokemon... Hopefully, I mean, Pokemon has made some mistakes sometimes, but I don't think they made a mistake here. I think he actually did not play any in and opt to play more Sycamore to get those Psychic Energies in his discard pile. Uh, but 4 Flowstone for free tree and an 11 Psychic Energy. So, we're going to save this. Oh, crap. Uh, no, don't discard him. We need to save. This is just Malamar. So, it was an across Malamar now, which is Malamar. All right, so click save. We've seen Malamar before. Um... But yeah, I thought on Tuesday we'll play Malamar. There, there's going to be a lot of Zork decks, so might as well try to switch it up when we can. Uh, you know, good old Zork was everywhere. No surprise for me. Uh, but here we go. Here we go. Y'all can. Uh, looks like they're playing a Dragon and Psychic deck. And we're in a four win streak. We won all three games yesterday. Let's see. Can we win the next three games today? That'd be fantastic. Oh! Well, we lost the coin flip. Now, this could be bad, um, but the good thing about this is we do play Max Luxor, so we can get that turn two attack off. All right, press done. I got a mulligan. Hopefully, my mic's not too low today. It's always weird trying to play with the mic settings. And also, I need to fix this green stuff around me. Just floating. It looked terrible yesterday. But uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll get that eventually. It'll take me a second if we remember how to do all this stuff. So, press done. Uh, we'll put... A Ranger in the active, Malamar on the bench, press done. All right, so this hand is actually somewhat decent, I think. Uh, we can Ultra Ball, discard the Cynthia. Oh, it's a, whoa, it's another boy. All right, so here we go. So, uh, but these aren't weak to Psychic, they're weak to Dark. All right, so Mysterious Treasure here. Hmm. All right, how do we, I don't know how to play this matchup. I actually don't have to play any matchup with this deck. I've never played really played the Malamar deck, except for a couple times, Oh, like, the the one time we played it with the Ultra Necrozma, which I think he is playing Ultra Necrozma. Alright, which is good for us because we have Mimikyu, so Mimikyu got the Ultra Necrozma, which is pretty nice. Uh, so see Lele for Bridget, most likely is what we're going to see here. So see the Lele, grabbing the Brigetti here. Okay, there's the Brigetti, going to get three NKs out. <clears throat> He's setting up here, he is going places, but... We are also going to get set up here. We have Mysterious Treasure for uh, Discard Cynthia, Ultra Ball, Discard the Malamar, whatever. There we see the Ultra Necrozma. Two NKs coming online. The Steel Energy comes with an Ultra Necrozma and a pass onto our turn. <sighs> oh, man, our hand is. Oh, man. I really don't want to discard a double Malamar. Uh, well, Mysterious Treasure, discard this. Uh, we we'll discard the Sycamore. Let's see what's in our hand. Okay, so grab an NK. We have two Malamars left. Okay. Hmm, all right. Does he, he doesn't need the necessary energy, so he could discard double psychic. Uh, but he's got to discard. No, uh, he's got to discard three energies to attack with Mimikyu. Hmm, so grab NK. Okay. Do we have Stretcher in here? Our Stretcher is actually prized, so I don't want to discard. Um, I don't want to discard double Malamar because then we'll be in trouble. So put down the NK. We'll play Cynthia. We'll get a new hand of six. Okay. Alrighty, so we can Mysterious Treasure discard the Giratina for another NK. We'll put down the NK. We will Mysterious Treasure discard the Field Blower. Grab another NK. So we got three NKs online. Very nice here. So put down the NK. 
we will instruct for one. We could put down Mimikyu and instruct for two. Um, but then it comes into a problem where he can probably knock us out next turn. So I'm just going to instruct for one. And also, we can find a Max Elixir to put on Mimikyu. There's a Floatstone. All right. So right now, I'm just going to put a Floatstone here. I'm going to Evasion. Retreat to an NK and just pass. Um, I don't want to lose as a Ranger. I'm fine losing an NK uh, because we can take a knock on the Ultra Necrozma if it does go crazy this turn. If you use the Photo Geyser, we can knock it out if everything goes to plan. Um, that's a big if though. So Flushstone to the active. Okay. Let's see what else our opponent has here. And the question is, do we instruct before we Lele for Sycamore? It's always a weird thing, right? So see Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hand, discards a Sycamore and a Cynthia. I imagine we'll see a Malamar here. Uh, one Malamar will allow him to get a knockout this turn. Uh, so yeah, there's the Malamar. Now remember, if he does attack a photo of Geyser, we could take a knockout um, by using a Mimikyu. So Flustone to the Malamar, and we'll see a Sycamore. Discard your hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, so we'll need a pretty eventful turn though. Hmm. We played three treasures already. No psychic energies have been found so far. Oh man, we have max elixirs as well. We have psychic energies. We could just attach. There's a lot of things that we could draw into here. Um, he's got the one energy, so he's he's going to be able to take a knockout here. But he's gonna take a non exgx knockout. Then we can put down Mimikyu, and then we can take a knockout. Theoretically, right? So Psychic Recharge, gonna put a Psychic Energy on that Ultra Necrozma GX. He is getting powered up here. Man, hopefully, man, I don't, oh, it's so weird. Okay, so, oh, to the Lele, actually. Okay. Now, if he goes Lele here and take a knockout, we could go for the Moon Eclipse GX and knock out the Lele that way. All right, so then the Malamar hit the field. Hmm. Interesting. So does he go for the Lele? I mean, he has another Psychic Energy, so he could just be like powering with the Lele and the Necrozma, kind of like spread around the love kind of thing. Um, I would actually try to power up the Necrozma than this this guy, but whatever. It's my opponent's turn, whatever he wants to do. Hopefully he's, he is spreading the love. We'll find out right now where he's put the Psychic Energy, and it's on the Lele. Oh, man. Mmm. Wait, he's still... Okay, so yep, going to go on the Lele here. Okay. Going to go for the Lele play. So Lele come to the active. Okay. Hmm. Now remember, we can Moon Eclipse GX for the knockout. So energy drive for the knockout. We're going to send a Ranguru here. It's, we got the invasion, so we can send it whoever we want to. So send the Ranguru. Okay. On to our turn. We get a Psychic Energy. Hmm. I don't want to. I'm kind of scared to put them in the Mimikyu because Mimikyu could be knocked out. Fairly easily. Um. Hmm. Um. Do we? I think I kind of just want to Lele for Sycamore, put down Mimikyu, and Struck for one, and then Sycamore, but that doesn't seem very resourceful. So Lele, yes. To grab a Sycamore. See, two of these guys, ten of these. I think right now we put down the Mimikyu. Yeah. And struck for one. And just Sycamore. So there's a mysterious treasure. So a mysterious treasure discard the psychic energy to find a Malamar. Okay, so put down the Malamar. And then we'll Sycamore. With this Sycamore, we need a way to discard the Psychic Energy, Max Elixir, and an Energy Attachment. And we got it! Alright, so we can Ultra Ball, discard the Flood Stone and Psychic Energy to grab the other Malamar. So grab Malamar, okay. We'll put down Malamar. We will double re uh, Psychic Recharge to the Bench Malamar. So there's one here. One to the Malamar. Now the scary thing is he can knock it on Mimikyu this turn. Uh, if we don't have Stretcher, it's in the prize cards right now. 
We'll put this here. We will invasion send that guy, and we will go for the Moon Eclipse GX uh, for the knockout here. There we go. Do 180. He cannot be hurt this turn, which is great as well. We'll take two price cards. We find a NK and a Rescue Stretcher. Okay, that's actually really, really good to find. Because if he does knock out the Mimikyu, we could uh, stretch it back into our hand, right? So there's Ultra Necrozma, okay. Hmm. Alright, does he have a Guzma of, of himself? So is he Invasion? Gonna send up that guy. Uh, he's gonna see some Psychic Recharge to this Ultra Necrozma. We'll most likely see a Guzma. If he has a Guzma, it will most likely be the Mimikyu. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't do that. It'd be pretty silly not to do that. Alright, so send that guy coming up. Okay. <coughs> all right now if we top like a psychic energy we can actually do a really cool play so there's a goose but the mimic you most likely <gasps> the malamar mm. okay so psychic recharge to the mal the dawn wings okay i'm actually okay with this play because we can potentially knock out this necrozma Whoa, so Photon Geyser for 100. Okay, we'll set up this guy. How many Psychics are in Discard Pile? All right, so on our turn, we will put down NK. We will Stretcher. Put three Pokemon cards back in our deck. Okay, so oh, we'll go uh, one, two, three. We'll Float Stone the Oranguru. And Sycamore, we could Guzma. Uh, but I'm, I'm more tempted to take a knockout this turn on this guy with the Mimikyu, which we can do. So, Sycamore, which you gotta get lucky. Mmm. Okay. So, we can attach a Psychic Energy. I don't think we put our, our hands down low enough. Ultra Ball, discard one and two. For another Malamar. Oh, we had two max elixirs in the deck. All right, so I got Malamar. Okay. We will psychic recharge. That's upsetting. Oh, one card off. All right. And then I'm going to dark flash here. Actually, I'm going to retreat and just take a mimic you. Yeah, we'll just copycat. That's fine. We'll do 180. I know we're 10 damage off. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. But I didn't want to leave uh, the Necroz in the X spot. He did, like, knock it out, and then we just don't have a response. Uh, so that's kind of why I did it that way. Uh, so see the evasion, okay? He is going to power up this Malamar, but we can potentially knock out this. His If he just, like, knock out the Mimikyu, that's fine. Unless he has, like, double Guzman hand, then we're definitely in trouble. He hasn't used a GX tech yet either. Okay, so energy to that guy. Another psychic recharge. Do we see a Guzma coming down? Huh. So psychic energy to that guy, okay. There's no ends in this deck either, so we can never end him. Oh my goodness. How many Guzmas has he played? One Guzma. Oh man, you gotta think he has a game here. He can he can bring up okay, so there's a Guzma, I gotta bring up the Necrozma, okay, gonna send that guy. Man, if we hit the max looks, we're gonna knock out this guy. I mean, that's if we hit the max looks or the hit energy out the max looks, of course. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. We got this, guys. We got this. Hmm. Okay. So, just take a knockout here. Mimikyu. Okay, Parallel City. <gasps> this is actually fantastic. So, we can discard this and this to get rid of his wind condition, okay? Yes, I know we got we don't have any flow stones, but we play four flow stones. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. No sleep. Don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Uh, flinch. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think what we can do here, guys. So I need two energies. We'll send a Malamar, and we have to just kind of go for it, right? We have to hit a psychic energy this turn. So on our turn, there's a psychic energy. So put down the Malamar. Oh, no. Yeah, we have to. Okay, so put down the Malamar. We will psychic recharge. I don't know why I'm psychic recharging. I should just wait. 
Uh, put that there. Attach this. Cynthia for new hand of six, okay? No! <laughs> the, the, the max looks just too late. Oh, that's pretty much going to slow the game up. There's no way we can attack this turn. Alright, so yeah, that's that's a lost game there. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, so we miss him. Yeah, that mean we could have taken a knockout. The guy would have rushed in and powered up and took a knockout. And then, like, we maybe could have took a knockout, but then he takes a knockout. So that's unfortunate. Oh, oh well. Alright, so I don't know what their name is. So we won the coin flip. Okay. Man, we just... Maybe I... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So we're playing against Zork right now. So start Giratina. My goodness, this hand's really bad. See, I'm not a big fan of Malamar because this is what your hands happen sometimes. Like, you get these bad hands. We started with this. What is this card? What is this doing here? What are we playing against right now? This is not a deck. All right, so Lily. Okay, put down this guy. We can... This thing for... Uh, I don't know what he's playing, but I don't think he's playing Zork. So we discard this thing for another guy. Okay. Put that guy down, and we'll just pass right now. We still got two NKs down, which is like the good point of this deck. Like you just play Soda Mysterious Treasures. There we see a Brigetti here. Brigetti. Oh, there's a Zark. We got punked. Where's Ashton Kutcher at? Okay. Uh, Perilous City, our turn. Okay. So Mimikyu. So Oat Ball, discard. How many Guzmas are in here? Okay. So discard a Flushstone and Guzma. We'll grab a Lele. Lele for Cynthia. Okay. So Lele, Lele, Cynthia. I would love to have discarded Psychic Energies, but that's just sometimes how it goes. So <clears throat> Lele for Cynthia. Put down the Cynthia. We'll draw six new cards here. Man, I thought we were so good last game. He paralyzed down to three. I was like, yes, he got rid of the wooden condition, and then he didn't. All right. So we get Ultra Ball, discard the Flowstone and Psychic to grab a Malamar. We can put down the Malamar. We can Max Luxor to the Tapu Lele. Yes. All right. So we'll put the energy on the Lele. We'll put the Psychic energy on the Lele. We will Malamar to the Lele. And we'll take a knockout with the Lele. All right. So that's actually a pretty good turn there. So put that there. Retreat. And we will energy drive for 60 damage. Knocking out that Noibat. Going down to five price cards. All right. There you go. That's a pretty good turn. So, there's an Ultra Ball. Okay, Ultra Ball doesn't really do anything for us just because our bench is full unless we top deck a Field Blower, but then we're still kind of in a weird spot because the Field Blower doesn't really get us anything because we have to wait another turn. So, it's, we need a Cynthia top deck. So, there's a Delinquent. Great. All right. Get her my Ultra Ball and my NK. Thank you so much. I like how it gives me the option. Thanks, Pokemon. You're so kind. I hope I top deck a Sycamore. Oh, bad boy, Zork GX coming on down. All right, so there's a trade. Man, I was like, oh, he doesn't play Zork. What do you, it's just a Noibat something silly deck. <gasps> but he has nothing. All right, so Psych Energy, okay. So 24 to 60, 80, 24 to 60, 80, 101. So if we go 24 to 60, 80, 8, 19, level 12. So we can put a Psychic here, Energy Drive, Next thing he puts a DC, we attach energy, we take a knockout, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and attach one. Seven, so that's enough for a knockout. All right, so that's, yeah, that's what we need to do there. We just have this Lele just go crazy right now. It's going crazy. So, Ultra Ball, Team Flurgrunt, and a Lele being discarded. This is a GX, so he's going to be trading for days. But if we find a sucking energy, we can knock him out. Remember, there is no... Uh, there's no choice span, so that's really not going to do us anything good. There's a trade. A choice span would be so good right now. Okay. Another trade happening. I hope we top deck a Ringaroo. Or a Cynthia. Or a Sycamore. <gasps> he just passes. All right. Well, there's a Malamar. Put down Malamar. Well, we got plenty of Malamars online, I'll tell you that much. Well, Energy Drive for another 80 damage. All right. Can't believe my opponent hasn't found anything. All right, so now he gets swing, and um, yeah, we're going to be taking a knockout here, going on a three price card. So this card's a weakness policy. Oh right, weakness policy coming online. There's a Tapu Lele. Going to use that water tag. Maybe finding an Acerola here that could be very bad for us. Mallow. All right, so it looks like he wants to guarantee something. 
maybe a floatstone DCE, maybe a DCE max potion. There's a lot of different things that can be played now. I think Zator playing his very interesting Zarg death. I got second place. Oh, I don't, don't forget I said that. Forget. Oh, there's Max Potion. Done diddly told y'all. Told y'all. I told y'all. He'd be playing Max Potion, did I not? So DCC active. Riot is beating for 100 damage. Oh, no, our turn. We are in trouble, guys. All right, so let's see here. Uh, 24. I think we just go for energy drive and hope we top deck anything. Because then we can, we can knock it out, right? But we have to top deck. I hope we top deck a rescue stretcher. That would be pretty nasty. All right, so here we go. See trade, discarding a Bridget there. I hope we don't see an Acerola. Um, I hope we don't see a max potion. This card's an in. Thank you so much. There's an Oaks Ball for another Zark. Okay. This card's an in. Okay, thank you for discarding our new in, sir. Two ends being discarded this turn. Did he get a Zark? Yeah, he did. You better believe he did. So the Zark GX coming down. A resource management. A field blower. And a Cynthia. yippee ki -yay. All right, so six new cards coming down. There's a trade, okay. This card's an ultra ball, all right. Man, I, I, we need to like try to focus this thing. So right is beating for 120. Goes down to four. How many, we down a lot of flow stones, right? Yeah, we're down three flow stones. That's not good. All right, so now our turn. Hmm. <laughs> All righty. Well, he can't take a. Ah, uh, wait to dark, Josh. What are you talking about? He can take a knock on next turn if he wants to. He can do whatever he wants. He is in full control. This is very, very scary. Hmm. All right. So, what do we do here? All right. So I'm putting down the Lanala. I'm putting the Psychic Energy to it. I'm gonna double recharge to it. So like if he if he takes a knockout anything but the Lanala, then that's I mean if he takes a knock on the active, who cares? But if he has a Guzma, uh does he want to knock out the Malamar or does he want to knock out the Pokemon that's gonna potentially knock him out next turn? So I don't want him to knock out the Malamar, so that's some kind of loading this in a Lanala so he can knock this guy out. Uh which would in like retrospect he should definitely be knocking out these Malamars instead. Uh, but we'll see what he decides to do here. Maybe he falls for it. Maybe he knocks out the Lunala. That'd be pretty nice. He's got nine cards left. It's not really going to matter. He has a Ringaroo. We haven't seen any puzzles. No anything. My goodness, his hand is bad. My hand is nothing. So Guzba. So he does take the, the trade, the, the bait here. Uh, to get the knock on the Lunala Prism Star. Um, which is fine with me. I'm okay with this. Because it buys us another turn here. He didn't knock on a Malamar. So it goes down to three. We'll send up the Giratina. Okay, on our turn. Okay, that's game. I'm not going to play anymore. That's okay. We're done with this game. All right, so on to game number three. All right, it's going good. We yesterday won three games. Today, we've, we've lost two. Great. Good, good, great. Sorry, Edward. We're doing great through deck today, bud. All right, on to game number three. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're playing against Bert. Oh, Bert, what are you playing here, buddy? Is this Zorak Lycanroc? So I'm thinking it is. Small victories. I gotta fix this green screen. It's gonna bother me. I know it's bothering y'all. All right, so. All right, top deck and ultra ball. Top deck mysterious treasure. Give me one of those top deck, please. All right, two Pokemon come down. Three Pokemon come down. Who needs Bridget, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Sycamore. Goodbye, Double Psychic. But, I mean, Double Psychic's not too bad, right? All right. So, put down this guy. We'll put down... Whoa! Do 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 do. 
Um, well, Ultra Ball. I need another NK next turn. That's the problem here. So put down the Lele. Yes. We'll grab a Sycamore. Okay. We will Max Elixir. Okay, we'll put that here. <clears throat> we'll Ultra Ball. Discard the Lily and Psychic for an NK. And then we will pass. Yep, that's what we're going to do here. Put down the NK, we'll pass. All right, don't want to touch the Flowstone because then he can just like feel the right away. And then we cry, whatever. All right, so it's Ultra Ball. Okay, all right, all right. So discards a Mallow and Flowstone. Show me Lele Bridget, Lele Bridget, Lele Bridget. Okay, no, oh, Rock Ruff. I called it, guys. I knew he was playing this deck, did I not? I said, I bet he's playing Zork like Rock. Get that strong energy off there. That's bad. All right, so we're going to be extra careful. 5 to 50. Well, he's already taking a knockout regardless. Great. All right, so we'll put a Psychic, oh, a psychic Energy here. So 24. Okay, so Psychic here. We'll flush on the active. We'll play the Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw on seven new cards. All right, so we put the Malamar. We will Ultra Ball, discard the Ultra Ball and Giratina to grab, just kidding, it's prized. All right, so we'll grab another Malamar. I was trying to grab a Ringaroo, but uh, he does not want to play it today. So we'll grab a Malamar. Okay. We'll put down the Malamar. We I'm gonna save the mysterious treasure. I really don't need to play it right now. So a psychic recharge to this Lele. And we will tree take a knockout. Plus, I don't want to discard anything. I want to keep my hand right now. So send the Lele. We will energy drive for the knockout. Doing 60. Okay. There we go. Lele coming in clutch again. There's a Rango. Nope, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so if he goes blood if he like takes a knockout with this guy, um, we're in trouble just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so uh, Zorak, come down. Okay. Really needed that Oranga room. I'm not gonna lie to you. So trade, discard the Lele, draw two new cards. Okay. There's a Zorak come down. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we don't take a knock up there. Okay, okay. Gotta think what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? What, what, what are we gonna do? What, what, what are we gonna do here? What, what are we gonna do? What are we, what are we gonna do here? I don't know. All right, so whatever. Okay, Malamo, put two cards top of your deck. Uh, show me Lycanroc something. All right. Lycanroc, Bloodstone, DCE, Dangerous Rogue, GX for knockout. Double puzzle, okay. I actually did not think I would see that one coming. What's the double puzzle? Okay, so uh, Mallow and a Zora, okay. Zora? Lycanroc, Bloodthirsty Eye is being activated. Okay, since so the Don Wings. DCE, right is baited for the knockout. <laughs> cool beans. All right, go down four. Okay, we'll set up the Lele. All right, so, Marsh Shadow. Huh. All right, so what are we going to do here? Okay. What are we going to do? So, uh, Mysterious Treasure, discard the Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't really do anything. That doesn't help me at all. All right, so we're going to grab the Lanala. Grab Lanala. Now I know what you're saying. You could be like, look, put down Marsh Shadow. You can use the GX ability, Moon Eclipse GX. But then we're in a we're in a dangerous rogue knockout range. Uh, I'm trying to can Lanala take a knockout. Lanala can't get powered up this turn, Josh. I don't know what you're thinking right now. Okay. Hmm. Do we go for that play and knock out at Zark? This guy comes up, knocks us out. 
How do we knock out this guy is the question. Huh. Alright, so I think we... Man, I just don't want him to have a Guzma next turn. Or like to knock out... Oh my goodness. We'll put this here. Yeah, I'm gonna go... This is probably the wrong play. Like, definitely like just trying to smack it, beat it down, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. My game's just gonna crash. Oh no, please don't crash. Okay. We will retreat into the Marsh Shadow. And we'll go for Moon Eclipse GX. Um, we could go for a dark a, fl a dark flash and take a knockout. But now I'd rather go for the Moon Eclipse here. Just prevent us from not being hurt next turn unless he has a Guzma or a way to get around this. So there's a Ranguru, there's a Psych Energy, okay. But if he knocks out a, the Layla in the bench, then we we just pretty much lose from here. Uh, but he has down two puzzles already. Okay. Oh boy, there he is. Mr. Lycanroc himself making an appearance right now. Uh-huh. He's only one trade, though. One trade. That's it. Okay, Buzzwell hitting the field. All right, there's an end. So the end will let him try to find another Zark. Maybe a DC. He needs... Uh, DC doesn't really get it for him. He needs to... Okay, my goodness. His hand's so good. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, it paid off. So, <laughs> will Guzma bring up his Zark? Send up our Lele? Uh, retreat into the Marsh Shadow? We will Psychic Recharge onto the Lele? Uh, psychic Recharge to the Lele? I'm going to power this, this Lele. Put a ton of energy on it. Put that there. Put this here. Field Blur? So that way if he ends us, we don't draw back into it. We discard these two. And we will go for the Dark Flash for 240 for the knockout going on one price card. <gasps> okay, there's a Malamar and it's a Cross and GX. Okay. Uh, 10, 6, 12, 18, 190. <gasps> we'll have a 10 damage short. We'll have to find a max look. All right, so Zark GX coming down, okay? But if he finds a DC, okay, there's an end. We get end of one here, okay? Okay. All right. Does he find a DCE? <gasps> Ultra Ball, it's not a card we want. Okay, trade. Does he find a DCE? No, that works too. Oh no, 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 no. All right. So what do we do here? We gotta think about this. I mean, we set up the Layla regardless because we talked about Guzma. We can retreat and uh, twenty, forty, six. Yeah, we can set up. We can like retreat, set up that guy. Yeah. So we have a win that way. Talked to Guzma. Sake gear. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> so my plan now is to uh, psychic recharge twice onto a Malamar, retreat and go for a uh, thinking of all our attacks. So psychic recharge again. Okay. Man, if we had one more card, we could ultra for a Ringaru, but we can't. Ringaru prize again. So send him this guy. That's our best play. A psychic sphere for sixty. Wait, we should have just kept the Lele in the action spot. He can't knock out Lele. Oh my goodness, Josh. He can't knock out the Lele, Josh. Who already uses Dangerous Rogue GX, Josh? What are you doing? You should have just punched it in the face. So there we see a Lele. Does he grab Guzma here? What's he grab here? What's he grabbing here? 
Now, he had Ace Roll in hand. He discarded, okay? Well, guess he needs to find a DCE, right? Uh-huh. Well, he already traded. So, he can't trade again. So, flush on the active. No! Ah! <laughs> No, 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 I messed up so bad. We could have, um, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I shouldn't have sent the Malabar. We, okay, whatever. Oh, Rangaroo. All right. Uh, struck for two. Wait, I think we still misplayed, though. When he hit Psychic Guzma here. Um, I don't think there's a one energy attacker that can win the game with us. Just between me and you. We could go for hypnosis here. Um, yeah, we lost. We went 0 three today. Did we misplay any of this game? I think we probably did, right? Probably. Hmm. Holy crap. I hate that there's another Lele in here. My goodness. We also got like the Arangator really late. Um, We already used our GX tech, so that's not going to work. We'll grab this guy. I mean, that guy still would even take a knockout. I don't even know. We'll just end his drive and just hope he doesn't have anything. We should have... Oh, man. If we would have kept the Lele up the one turn and that retreated, he would have smacked us, and then regardless, he would have mallowed for the game anyway. Um, yeah, so there's pretty much no way would have we would have won because <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't he does not get the Malamar, but the second Malamar doesn't really help us that much. Um, so that doesn't really change anything. He's got the the Guzma most likely. I don't see how he doesn't have a Guzma or like a way to bring our bench Pokemon. He's just slow rolling us now at this point. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's day two. My goodness, this is, uh, really bad. Hopefully, uh, Thursday will be better. Yep. At least what Monday went through with the deck I love, which is this deck right here. Uh, what is he, t uh, maybe he doesn't have it. Okay, they, my goodness. Okay, thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right, so, uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, Edward did make top eight. Congratulations, sir, because I was never a big fan of Malamar. Um... Like, it seemed good at first, right? Like, you have those, like, Lanala, all this kind of different stuff. Maybe I'm not the best Malamar player. I don't know. He plays a lot of one ofs. That's probably what hurt me a little bit. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Um, I'm, I guess I'm just going to talk about what happened, like, in this time of the meta of the game and everything and why I stopped playing Pokemon for a good minute. But we'll see you tomorrow. If not, want to see Pokemon, more Pokemon action, we'll be back on Thursday for another top eight deck. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye.